What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So we're gonna be heading over to the land right now to work with my dad on a couple little things and maybe till some ground up for some food plot action. Another thing to point out is, uh, another thing I kinda wanna mention to you guys, 20X entries to win that white fourth gen right there end tomorrow. Tomorrow is your last chance to get the 20X entries and then they're gone. So if you haven't done so yet, don't waste any time, go get those. We did just wash the Cadillac. Look at that. I love this vehicle. Love it. Hate it. It's just stupid. Never buy one just because it's just ridiculous, but they are cool. This is the truck you guys could win right now. Every $5 is 20 times the entries towards winning this truck, but that deal, like I said, ends tomorrow, May 14th at 11.59 p.m. We've got the six speed right here. And the only real reason I'm driving this one over any of the other ones is dad has not yet seen this truck. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about is LNP speed on Instagram. So, so let me explain to you the thought process behind this. So I've wanted to get a challenger since I was like 17. I've wanted a challenger, but I haven't actually pushed myself to get one just because I always looked at it as, okay, I could buy one, but it's not a good investment for me because that's just, you know, it's just not my business. My business is not cars. My business is trucks. So I just kind of push it off, push it off, push it off. And I finally just cracked and I'm like, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just go buy one. I could actually have bought one by the time you see this video. It just depends. <coughs> We're going to see. I'm going to check out a dealership, which actually is the same dealership I bought this uh, truck from. They just got a Hellcat in and it's, it's sweet. I want to show it to you guys, but I'm not going to show it to you guys unless I buy it. Otherwise, it's just going to be like false hope and I don't want to do that to you guys. But this was the deal I made you guys. If you could get LNP underscore speed on my Instagram to 10,000 followers, we'll do a Hellcat giveaway. Different website, different merch, different everything, different brand. It is not going to interfere with the trucks. It's not going to interfere with the truck channel. Pretty much just going to be like a little added bonus here and there, maybe on video. But other than that, pretty much just a whole different giveaway company is going to be riding right alongside LNP. Hopefully you guys are excited about that. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Don't forget to go follow that page, LNP underscore speed, and follow that account if you are interested in the possibility of owning and winning a Hellcat because of 10,000 followers and giving one away. Whenever I start a new giveaway, this happens every time I start a new giveaway, I get like 10, 15 comments and really I don't care, but it's something I just want to address in case you're one of those people. And that's every time I start a new giveaway, somebody says, I don't get why you give those trucks away I would keep them all if they were mine and just keep building them and keep them for myself. Now in theory, that sounds amazing. It sounds great, but the thing is, I would not be buying this many vehicles unless I was doing the giveaways because if I was solely doing YouTube for a living, I would not be able to afford this many trucks outright. You see what I'm saying? You can look at it any way you want. Some people think that it's all just about the giveaways now and it's really not. If it was all about giveaways, I would stop doing YouTube and just do Facebook and Instagram marketing ad campaigns because there's more money to be made in it that way anyhow. But I just enjoy doing YouTube, so I still do YouTube because I like doing YouTube and I do the giveaways because I like doing the giveaways. Take it for what it's worth. I love what I do and I do what I love and I feel like everybody should do the same. Dad's out here ripping up the dirt. He's actually gonna be selling this backhoe. We used it for like a couple months and that was it. This is pretty funny. If you're wondering why he's working on this, well, let me tell you. We're gonna be actually working on some food plot stuff here soon. We're gonna, for the first time, gonna be trying to plant corn and beans for our deer. And I know this isn't an outdoors channel, so I'm not gonna talk about this long, but for the most part, we've always planted like clover, winter wheat, brassica, stuff like that, turnips. But for the most part, the actual huntable season for those crops, most of the time, they're not at their most compatible state for consumption until pretty much the season that we mostly hunt is like, over in terms of like the brassicas and stuff like that and the clover clover's everywhere so it's hard to get a deer to like hone in on it because it's just so it's everywhere here we have alfalfa all over the place too compared to like for example standing beans would be you know in like late november or corn would be in december you see what i'm saying i don't know and the other thing is too if the beans are still green and they still have a lot of green on them the leaves they'll eat that in september and even sometimes early october so which is when we're hunting a lot archery here because our season opens up september 15th we're working on uh, getting this all worked up because we're going to try to throw some beans in the ground over here maybe some corn maybe half and half and then do the same in a couple other spots but anyways all that aside that's what he's doing some of you are like so ticked at me for giving away the <laughs> white truck and I get it it's cool it's roomier but something about this truck is just so much more fun to drive 
in terms of my preference because I like the stick. But in terms of practicality, the white truck's way more practical. And just for comparison, this truck's a 2015 with only 26,000 miles on it. That white truck we're giving away is a 2018 with only 11 thousand miles on it. It hasn't even technically hit its first recommended oil service, which is 15,000 miles. It's already been changed before, but it hasn't even hit its first technical service mileage yet, which is just crazy on that white truck. Turn of events here. So we are actually in the project, well, not really project anything, the parts truck, the, uh, the parts truck, and we're going to attempt to remove the dash. So we're gonna try to remove this dash because everything works as it should and use it in that blue truck once we get it back. So I'm gonna set up a time lapse and uh, see if we can't get this taken out. A couple days have gone by and a uh, little project today is going to be putting some new cab lights on the regular cab, the six speed. And I think I'm gonna really like it. I think you guys will too. So let's get this thing fired up. I did actually get off the phone with the leather care guy, not the leather care guy, the upholstery guy. And uh, we have the thing scheduled to get some new leather interior, which is pretty sick. It's gonna be awesome. If you look at the truck right now, of course you saw in the previous video, we got the color match grill on, color match bumper on, color match mirrors are on, new letters in the grill, new uh, sport style black housing headlights like a blacked out housing um, looks really good especially since the color is black forest green it's dominantly black the green is like in the flake of the paint but it really like right now looks black if you go to this side where the sunlight hits it you can look in the sunspot where it's touching the point the front of the truck real like concentrated you can see some green but for the most part, it's just super fitting set up and I just really like it. Chuck needs to get new cab lights put in. Um, these cab lights, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just a little bit foggy, clear. I just not, I'm just not a huge fan of them. So ordinarily, I am a fan of the LED cab light setup. The problem that I see with them most of the time now, the LEDs don't really seem to hold up. What I'm actually gonna do is just use the cab light lens itself, kind of like the DB build and do the blacked out lens and just keep the amber light. That'll also, in the same sense, match the headlight with the daytime running lights and all that stuff, because those are amber. We're gonna get to doing that right now. We're gonna swap out these cap light lenses and uh, show you guys how that turns out. It's gonna look pretty good. Just stopped into Mike's to get a wash. Something I had no idea that this truck had. I'm telling you, it's the weirdest regular cab ever, because it, it's like a tradesman cloth seats and stuff, but it's got high-end features. The truck has automatic folding in mirrors. Yeah, automatic fold in mirrors. So you hit a button and they fold in and fold out. That's crazy. I didn't know that was ever an option on a tracer. That's just nuts. There was all that dust and dirt all over where the fenders were on there. So I just wanted to get that off, get the hood cleaned off, get all the crap off the roof of the truck. Just get it clean because Devin Fryback is actually going to be picking up the truck today, tent installing the truck, or maybe his friend is, is going to do the tent. But he's going to do a little bit of suspension work on the truck, and his buddy of his is going to do the tent. I just want the truck to be clean. Just It's just more enjoyable to work on a vehicle that's clean and not messed up. Experience that I just had at Menards. I have never really had many complaints about Menards in the past. I've always thought, oh, super great store well managed all this cool stuff until today I was a little bit chapped I was a little bit ticked off they would not let me in unless I bought a mask from them for the people that are paranoid and they listen to everything they hear on the news you're gonna be like well duh because chances are if somebody's coughing in there you're gonna die of COVID-19 don't feed into everything you hear online because it's a bunch of garbage and there's a bigger plan behind it than they're wanting you to believe, but this is just unnecessary, okay? You can't come into the store unless you buy a mask, really. You can't go into the store if you're under the age of 17. What about like if I've got a four-year-old boy who his mom's at work, let's say, this is all theoretical, mom's at work, he's with me for the day, nobody can watch him, and he's not in school, he's not at daycare, because, you know, daycares are shut down too, unless you're like, you know, first responders, kid. What am I supposed to leave in the car? Really, like, it's just ridiculous. Like, just the dumbest freaking stuff ever. I had to buy a mask. He's like, you can't come in unless you buy a mask. All that being said, this is, um, 
stupidity at its finest. But also, if you want to buy one that doesn't look so ridiculous, and let's say you have some absolutely outrageous laws where you are right now, or regulations, or store policies is what they're calling it, head on over to lmpgear.com. We actually have neck gaiters. They're just like slid down around your neck, but if you need it as a mask, it slides up over your face. If you want, it says LNP on the American flag with diesel trucks just underneath the flag. They're 25 bucks, but you know what? You don't have to wear this piece of junk and you can use them for when you're out in the sun all day fishing, lawn care, hunting as a mask. It doesn't matter what, you can use it forever, rewash it, use it, rewash it, use it. They're great and they're actually somewhat breathable versus these are like um, just cheap. It's like strapping paper to your face, it's just dumb. Anyways, let's get into installing these cap lights. Look who it is! They say you're Kenny Rogers in the comment section. Oh. But well, you wouldn't want to be him right now, would you? No, I can stay myself. <laughs> yeah. Long time no see, and he wants to take a look at a couple of the trucks here. And one in particular looks like a truck he used to own. But yours was a 92, right? Yeah. So his was the intercooled version. This is the non-intercooled version. But he wanted to take a look around this thing here. There you go. Yeah, holy smokes. Did yours have the emblem on the hood? Uh, no. The ram on it? I don't believe it did. That's a pretty rare thing to find anymore. Most of them are gone, but they had these uh, stinking anti-theft safety things in them, apparently. It was supposed to be like a little, it's cabled down in there. And it's got no, the dodge. I, mine didn't have that. It is nice. What's your favorite thing about this particular truck? Looks like my old one. That's exactly right. <laughs> when I bought it, I sent him pictures of it. I said, this truck looks exactly like the one he had. Did yours have all that chrome stripping and stuff on it and badges and I stuff? Think it, I think it did, yeah. This particular model, it's the non-intercooled, so it Mine just- didn't have that. Yeah, no, yours would have been just, the tubing here would have gone down underneath to the intercooler down through here which this one doesn't have, mm -hmm. and it, it would have gone back up over to this side versus this just recirculates the air. Devin's here to pick up my truck. It's I'm my not gonna tell him everything you're it's doing. It's my truck now, okay? Yeah, for truck. a couple of days. No. <laughs> so, <Couple> days. <laughs> are you gonna have it for a, uh, what are you guys doing, are you doing the tent? Oh, I, do you want me to? Yeah, I do. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> if you need it a couple of days, that's, okay, that's, that's not fine. a big deal. Throw in some suspension stuff, get the tent done, and uh, we'll show you how it turns out once we get it back. Here she goes, she being the truck. That is pretty much where we're gonna end it off for today's video. Got the little bro, we're cruising to go look at the Hellcat. You guys are gonna have to wait till the next video to see that um, content, it's gonna be pretty nuts. Hopefully we can get a Hellcat today. That'd be freaking sweet. Do not forget, tomorrow is your last full day to get 20X entries towards winning the 2018 Cummins white truck. If you want to enter to win that truck, all you have to do is go to lmpgear.com, buy anything on the store, and you're automatically entered. Every $5 that you spend is 20 entries. So if you spend 10, that's 40 entries. You spend 15, that's 60 entries. You spend $20, that's 80 entries, so on and so forth. The more you spend, the more entries you get. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. We'll see the regular cat back here soon. We're gonna possibly be picking up a Hellcat so you could see that in the next video. Regardless, you'll see what happens and what we end up doing. So thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Information for entering the giveaways in the description below. Click the link, go to the website. It's that easy. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.